our running back, Trevor Maddich, back with us now. Listen, he complained about the play calling. He complained about how many carries he got. When you look at the game tape, what did you see? Sarah, what I see is that star players look like they take turns looking like they've never played football before in their lives. Now, Elliott was right that the play calling was suspect, but a lot of those plays would have worked if good players would have executed at an average level. So let's go back and look at that Michigan State loss and look at how the play calling progressed and why it didn't work. And it started with loading the box by the Michigan State defense. They knew that Elliott would run, so they stacked extra defenders in there to stop him. On this play, two of those guys will end up unblocked at the point of attack, and Elliott's so good, he made something happen anyway. But most of the time, they did bottle him up. So you're the play caller. What do you do? Extra guys? Okay, how about if we have Elliott block one of those extra guys? But now other players faltered. This is a two-on-two -two combo blocking scheme, but keep your eyes on that defensive tackle. He doesn't beat this block. He's abandoned by the block. As a matter of fact, the left guard, before he even gets to the linebacker, looks back and says, oops. Yeah, oops is right. That play would have worked if they just would have executed at an average level. So you're the play caller. Well, how about we use Elliott as a decoy? Have him lure one of those extra guys out of the box. Well, they have what they want here. This is going to work. JT Barrett will run behind a pulling lineman, block that linebacker. Then the other linebacker will get picked off by the left guard. But now watch JT Barrett. He freaks out. Instead of following his blocker into the hole, he goes to the opposite side where there's no one to block that linebacker. So you're the play caller. Now what do you do? Plays that you are calling should work. Well, the fans know that this thing is not right, right? Well, here's where I think Elliot was right. And this is different from what I think most people think. Instead of handing it to him more, they should have thrown it to him. He had 24 catches coming into this game. They, they had zero catches for Elliott against Michigan State. And if running's not working, throwing to the receivers is not working, plan C is to flare him out, give him a chance to catch the ball out in space and make something happen there. I expect Michigan to stack the box like Michigan State did last week, and I expect Ohio State to throw the ball to Elliott. So you're okay with the amount of carries then? Not, not the amount of touches, though. Okay. Throw it to him. Trevor Maddich is going to be back with us to talk about Bedlam in the next hour here on SportsCenter.